Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we have this 2009 Ford F-250 right behind me. So this is the diesel 6.4 liter engine, and it does have a similar misfire. But with this one, when I try to crank it over, it does not sound right. So I think this is gonna have a mechanical issue to this vehicle. So I do have my PicoScope hooked right behind me, and I wanna do a relative compression test on this. So how about we get to this, and we try to figure out what's wrong with this truck. All right, cool. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to do a relative compression test. And essentially speaking, we're going to be using a high amp clamp right here. And we're going to be hooking it up to our cable going to the starter. And right here, what we're doing is checking out the current ramps. So every single time that the piston goes up, our amperage is going to go up as well. And we're going to see spikes on, on those right there. So this is a V8 right here. So we should see eight of those spikes on each revolution right here. So we have our Pico scope hooked up and this is actually a pretty easy test, simple. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the variable away that this is gonna be a mechanical issue. So let's hook up our Pico scope and let's see what we get. All right, so we have our Pico scope hooked up and right here we hooked it up to our amp clamp so we did go to a 600 amp amp clamp right here and we have it at a one second per division time base so we have one second per division so we have 10 divisions right here that's going to be 10 seconds that we're going to be looking at the screen and we're just going to crank this over first and foremost turn our amp clamp all right so i'm going to just bring this down just a little bit and now let's see how this looks so I'm just going to wait until it refreshes. Let's hit this. And I don't know if you can hear how the, it's not consistent when we, when we actually try to crank this over. Now we're just going to go a little bit in here and see what we get. All right. So remember, this is a V8. So we're going to have eight humps. So as we can count right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that drop right there. That's our mechanical issue that we have. And like I said, when I cranked this engine over, there was, it didn't sound consistent. So that lets us know right here that we do have a mechanical issue. I did already call the customer and let him know what, what the issue was with this vehicle. I'm going to give him the option just to think it over and see what he wants to do. All right, so we have our leads right here, and we have our negative and positive. So our blue is gonna be our positive. We're gonna hook this up to the positive and negative, and we're gonna do on DC, so you can see how that looks. All right, we're gonna open up our new channel, and we're gonna do, because it's reading battery voltage, we're just gonna do that as you can see let's see battery voltage uh, we're missing something forgot to hook up to our actual scope all right now we have battery voltage right there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna crank it over so you can see what I'm talking about so we're gonna crank this over all right cool pause it And you can see we have those little humps up there. They're not as defined, but they're there. And you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop. So kind of the same. But now let's move it to AC so we can see what it really looks like. Essentially, all we're gonna do is just go up here Go to AC, and because we're just looking at the top part of it, we're just gonna drop the voltage down. Let's go about one. Now let's give this a try. Let's see how that looks. All 
All right, so here it goes. I'm going to crank this over. All right, cool. And all I want to see is how similar these look. Just gonna put a filter on this so we can see just a little bit better. All right, cool. And look at that. It's basically a mirror image right here. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop. But it's just kind of like a mirror. So it's inverted right here. I kind of want them to look the same. And there's gonna be a little trick that, uh, that, that we're gonna be using right here. So when we go to our battery, let me show you. We're gonna go to our battery. And what we're gonna do, remember we have our positive on our positive and our negative on our negative. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna switch these up. Go back to our Pico scope. And don't forget, remember, there's a mirror image. This is going up, this is going down. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna see what happens whenever we switch those two right there. All right, let's give this a try. All right. Look what we got there. Basically the same. And all we're doing is just going straight to the AC couple. So you don't need a expensive high amp clamp. You just need a scope with a one channel that can look at AC and hook up to your battery. And like I said, do you even know which one is the high amp clamp? They're about the same thing. If I put them right next to each other, they should be about the same. Let's see. Look at that. Pretty much no difference at all. So there you go. So if you do like this video, please throw a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. Have any comments, please drop them down below. Hope you all enjoy. Take care.